Dan Davies, PJ Professional here at the Chase Golf Club. Today we're going to look at testing the T300 new title sign, the T200 and the T100. I've got Jamie and Eric which are going to do the testing for me, so thank you very much for uh, coming along and trying the new title signs. I appreciate it. So we're going to start with the T300. Um, what we've got set up in the teaching bay is GC2 launch monitor hooked up to the iPad so I'll be posting the results sort of on the video top left or right whichever is the easiest for me when I'm editing um, and we're just really going to see the difference in terms of distance, dispersion, ball flight, which suits Jamie, which suits Eric the best um, and then just have a little look at the data and see which uh, and how they perform. So we're going to start T300 head, uh, we're going to test T300 with Jay first then we're going to go T2 and then T100 and then we'll re repeat the cycle with Eric as well. So uh, T300 edge, yeah. <coughs> so we've gone like for like in the shaft head combo. So uh, how does it look down by the board, yeah? Yeah, that's good. That's good. be interesting to see what the feeling is in terms of the difference between the T3 and T200. T200 and 100 are both the forged head so they may feel a little bit different from T300. Good strike. For those two, Jay, one, first one went 150, second was 144. Full speed at 107.2, so in terms of average, which is, which is good. Good swing. We're aiming for four or five good ones per club, so two more. So we're going to be using the tight list um, fitting iron chart as well, which sort of is going to give us a great idea of um, we need the right launch angle, right spin. Oh, we'll ignore that one, do one more. So we want the right launch angle, we want the right spin rate to be able to stop the ball on the green, that's not all about distance, so we want to have that stop element in there as well in the ball fly. Okay, so if we take those last two out, contact on those last two were a little bit off, so um, for your ball speed yeah. of 105 on the chart, if you look um, bottom right, yeah. We want to be in the ideal band. I'll um, I'll post a photo of this just on the screen for you guys to have a little look at. So, launch angle is twenty degrees, and backspin rate is five thousand eight hundred. So we have dried the range balls as well, so it's given us accurate data. So twenty five five. So that falls right in the middle band of ideal. So it's launching nicely for you. Yeah. It's spinning at a good um, at a good rate. Um, so then the descent angle on here is 45 and we're aiming with a 7 iron to be between 45 and 55 so you're hitting that bracket and that's performing nicely for it. So let's switch it into the T200. So we're going to keep the same shaft. Direction was good as well, Jim. We were a little bit to the right. So we're going to add four or five again with this one. Let's change the spec. So this is T200. How does that one look in comparison? Yeah, it looks nice. It looks nice. In terms of it look a little bit thinner? Yeah. yeah. The profile on the T2 is slightly smaller than the 3 and then the T1 is an even smaller. Yeah, it's a bit blade, you think? Yeah, a little bit. It's part of that felt one. Yeah, it's still different? Yeah. Yeah, still a little bit softer? Yeah, it's not. Not sold on there, go. Interesting there. Launch has gone up a little bit. Yeah, yeah good swing. Launch is 
just prepped it just for fun. Just right. Now let's do one more. Distance is crept down slightly. Let's just clear the launch just gone off a smidge. Not a massive amount. So T200 is just launching a little bit higher. It's actually spinning less for you. I would have, I would have thought it would have spun a little bit more. So potentially we could go in a slightly heavier shaft, which will bring the launch down, but we don't want to be bringing the spin rate down as well. Um, so to be honest, both similar. Um, so let's go T100. So what was your sort of feelings between the two? That felt the best connection. Yeah. Softer. Softer yeah. Space. Yeah, so we would expect now the T100 to launch even higher than the T2. I would expect it to spin more, but the spin rate with the T2 compared to the 3 went down, which I was expecting to go up. So we'll see. So let me just switch the spec just on here. When you're ready, Joe. Just right. How do you describe that ball flight? That's tricky with the fog. Higher or lower? I'd say touch higher. Yeah, it was definitely. That's interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The launch has gone up to 26, which is too high with an iron. Shaft is designed to launch the ball just a little bit lower. Yeah. So, if head's going to launch higher than the T3 and the T200, so by putting this shaft in, should help bring the flight down a little bit. There we go. This is why fitting is really important. You've got to make sure that you match the correct shaft with the right head. Yeah. So, we'll just take those off. When you're ready, Joe. That was a nicer flight. That was nice. Better distance on that as well. So the look, the uh, spin has just dropped a little bit as well, so I'd be a little bit concerned with this one in terms of when it's landing on the green, it's not going to be stopping quite as quickly as the, the three, which is interesting. How does that feel? Feels quite nice. Yeah. Soft, soft again. Which one's feeling the best out of three for you? Um, it's split between the this one and the last one. And the last one. Yeah. The heads are very, very similar in terms of they're both forward, so they're both going to feel nice and nice and soft. Yeah, good swing. We will do one more, Jack. have a little look at this Jeff. So I'll pop this on the screen as well guys. So you've got started with T300. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we went to T2 and then T1. Interesting numbers. So see how the ball speed reduced slightly yeah. as you went up to T100. Yeah. Uh, what was interesting I was expecting the spin rate to go up 
but actually went down slightly. Yeah. So for your golf swing and the style that you play, the best suited iron would probably be between T200 and T300. Yeah. The distance was similar. The T200 was straighter. Yeah. Yeah. The descent angle on the two was very similar. Yeah, so we want that around 45, so when it's landing into the green, it's coming in at a good angle. Um, the launch was slightly lower with T300. So for me, recommendation-wise, the one that suits you probably between two and three, but which one felt the best? Two. Two, yeah. yeah. So when you're out on the golf course, you've got to be confident with whatever club you're using. Yeah, the feeling of the T200 is nice. So for good. me, my recommendation would be T200 for yourself. Yeah. So, but it's really important that you get fit. It was interesting that when we, um, when you hit T100 with the original shaft, the launch angle was up at 27, 26. Right. As soon as we put the new one in, it dropped down to 24. Yeah. So, but T2 was 21 and T3 was 19.6. So, um, definitely T200 would be a recommendation for yourself. Fantastic. Okay. So, what I'll do is you guys should at home should all be able to see the data just on there. Pop a screenshot just there now. Hopefully, yeah, fits on one screen, so you can all see that. Perfect. So let's do a switch, and Eric, let's have a little go. So we'll start, Eric. It's close spec to your current irons, just so it's going to feel similar. So let me just pop a head in here. So it'll be interesting if the same happens in terms of spin rate with Eric and Jay. So obviously a different golfer. <coughs> Swing the club differently. Let's see what kind of results we get. So we're going to start again, T300 head. Four or five with each. <coughs> so I'm just going to start a new session on here. Get it set. When you're ready, so how does that look down by the ball in comparison to the iron you've currently got? A little bit larger, a little bit bigger. bigger. Not as aesthetically. Not quite as sexy, but easy. Easy. What you've just currently got. Good try. How do you feel? It feels pretty similar. Yeah, okay. It feels pretty similar. Yeah. It's a little bit softer, I think. A okay, softer okay. That's interesting. There's a little dampener in the back of the C300 head, which helps improve the feel. Let's try. So, Eric's bad shot's a little bit out to the right hand side. So what we've done is we've made the club slightly more upright to help combat that. Sure. How would you describe the flight? Would you say it's sort of high, mid or low? I would think it's a middle flight. Middle yeah, flight. yeah, it's relatively low, so I would like to see the launch sort of increase oh. a little bit. So with the T2 and 1, they tend to launch a little bit higher, so it'll be interesting to see the differences. We'll do one more. That was a better shot. So if we have a little look on the chart and those five shots you've just hit, let me just map out chart for a done. So you come out of the chart, bottom right, can you see it on the, yep. on the display there? So launching at the moment at 19 degrees and then spinning at 4.6 which gets us to just there, it's sort of the low end of ideal. So it's in the correct bracket. I would like to see you launch the ball a little bit higher, okay? Just so the descent angle increases slightly. The minute's at 40, so if we get that close to 45, especially with the greens here being a little bit firmer in the summer should help you 
stop the ball a bit quicker on the greens. This is probably the closest to what you've currently got. Look very similar to present times. How did it feel? Nice. Yeah. Look a bit softer off the face, I think. Hundred percent. Same sort of feedback as Jay in terms of obviously T one, T two in the pool. They are going to feel a little bit softer off the face. That's better. Good strike, Eric. Never guess what. Didn't pick it up. <laughs> Best one of the day. Didn't collect it on the uh, on the day. There's always one. Got that one, that was a better shot. That's better, launch is, uh, is prepped up and spins prepped uh, stay stayed consistent. Good swing. When we move into the T100, Aaron, we're gonna stay with the same shaft, that should help you still improve the launch a little bit. So uh, that's why fitting's so important. Everybody's golf swing's different. It's important that you get the right shaft to match your style of golf swing and how you launch the golf ball. So we'll do one more. You can get that one in, so just make sure that light is on the line on the monitor there, it's green. And then it should pick it up. So we'll do two more. Yeah, that's launching higher than the first one. Yeah. yeah. Good strike. That's better. Much, much better. So have a little look at this data now, Eric. We've got four shots. So see how your launch has gone from 19 to 20, and spin rate has gone down a little bit mainly to do with that shot just there, number 10. So if we take that out, um, we've gone up just a fraction, um, and the launch has gone up as well. So distance has increased by five yards, so which is interesting. I felt like you struck the T200 a little bit better than the T3. Yeah. Let's keep the same shaft, and we're gonna go T100. This will probably look a little bit thinner, do a little bit more blading. Looks great though. And it looks quite similar. Yeah. I'll just tweak this on the uh, on the iPad too, so. Strike. Yeah, launch hard. Good swing.
strike. Good strike. How does it feel? Nice. Yeah. Definitely launching higher. It is, isn't it? So you've got to be careful that when we do increase the launch, I just want the ball to go nice and high so when it gets to the other end it stops. <coughs> we don't get to want to get to a position where it's launching too high but then you're sacrificing distance, which is actually what's happening here with Eric. So the distance is going to start to come back a little bit. Okay, do one more and then we'll be able to compare the data. So for your ball speed, we want the launch between 20 and 22, spin rate around the sort of four and a half, five thousand. Yeah. So what you can see here is that once you've gone from T200 yeah, to T100, the ball speed's dropped. Yeah. So that can be, because it's a smaller profile head, we want to be striking it as close to the middle as possible, can't we? So if we off centre, there's not quite the forgiveness there as there is in the T, T3 and the T200. So in the tightest lines, think of the number. The higher the number, the more forgiving the line. Yeah. So it's yes, it's launching higher, but it's not quite going the distance. Yeah, first one here was nice. Whereas if you compare it with T3, again, there's a little bit of gain in distance, but T2 is performing the best for you as well. So it's launching nicely, spinning good, Descent angle is at 40. I would like to see that come up a little bit. We can do that through coaching. Um, but yeah, it's best distance, good launch, and good spin as well. So both Jay and Eric, T200 was working the best. Um, there's a few different factors. I would definitely, if you're looking at new clubs, definitely recommend getting fitted to um, with your local professional. Um, they can advise the correct setting and spec for your golf swing. Uh, but in terms of T2, uh, sorry, T100, T200, and T300, try them and see what results you get. But um, for Jay and Eric, the T200 was the uh, was the club that worked the best. So uh, appreciate both of you coming along and uh, having a test. So uh, thank you very much. And no appreciate it. Thank you very much. Any comments you guys wanted to make on the on the site of clubs? I like that. I like the T two hundred. I thought that was a that was a good club, a good club for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks yeah. aesthetically, it looks nice. Yeah. Um, I was quite happy with the way the ball felt off the club face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And as we all know, it's about confidence, and, 100%. and that confidence is a, is a big thing. Yeah, definitely. So T one and two both forward heads are mm. gonna feel a little bit softer than T three hundred. Yeah. But uh, what about yourself, Jack? Definitely like the T200. Yeah. Um, I think the launch um, yeah. angle was definitely good for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, seemed to be hitting the ball a little bit straight with those as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, they, yeah. Uh, they felt really nice and they yeah. looked nice as well. Like, good. You know, a bit of a blade look. Yeah, they look nice. Yeah, they do. They look nice. Good. Excellent. Yeah, so, you. thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Um, if you want to see anything different, any sort of different iron reviews, driver reviews, um, or anything like that, just uh, drop a comment below and uh, we'll be able to do that for you. So, thank you guys.